Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast and today we are going to be continuing with all the farms that we've been setting up. I want to get a farm set up today for cows because I want leather and also a few other things uh, from those and we're going to use Mind Factory to help us with that so I'll get around to doing that in a second. Beforehand though, I want to show you something that I've been working on in between episodes because I've been doing some work on the base and you may have already seen uh, a little bit of it. Well I want to show you this and explain it to you and uh, one thing I'm going to quickly say is if you do enjoy the episode then I'll like be awesome that is uh, pretty much it so what have I been doing in between episodes well I've done a little bit of work on the base around here and if we fly up into the sky you can see how cool this is starting to look these are going to be other little areas so I've got the underwater areas here 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 and here and that's where I'm going to have my machine set up. But I want somewhere to have some wildlife and some trees growing and perhaps some tree farms hidden underneath these. And these are going to be these towers which head down all the way down to um, the level of these. They're all going to be linked up eventually. And I just thought this looked kind of cool. It makes uh, more circles to the base, keeps it looking all circular and geometrical, if that's even a word. And that's what I've been going for for this. And if you take a look on the map, I think if we do that, you can see how cool this is starting to look. I think it's going to look awesome when it's done. This is another step to the project and I think it's going to look really cool. So let's head down to the base and let's get started making some of the machines that I'm going to want for the cow farm. Now like I said, I'm going to be using Mind Factory to help us out a little bit with that. And the first thing that I want to make is this. This is a grinder. It's going to kill everything like a 5x5 five five square in front of it. So that's going to be really cool. And it's going to be super useful for what we're going to be doing. I'm also going to want something called a chronotyper. And I don't think I've used one of these before. Basically, these are like a really cool sorting thing for mobs. You can tell it to sort whether it's an animal or a baby and all different types of stuff like that, which I'll show you in a second. And I'm also going to want some conveyor belts to move the mobs around. And I don't have any of these made, so let's quickly craft up. Let's go for 32, maybe 48 of these. That should be plenty. And I... Don't know, yeah, let's leave these not coloured. I was going to colour them brown because it's cows, but hey, why not? Um, Let's just see what we need to colour it. We've got some ink sacks, so let's... Nah, I'm not going to bother colouring it. Let's leave these the colour they are. I'm being lazy again. So let's head down to the bottom of the base, and I'll show you what we're going to do. I may also want some clear glass as well, so let's just grab some of that. And of course, I am going to want the cows as well, so let's just quickly grab these while I remember. So I need the two cows, what we've got in here, and I also need some clear glass, so I might as well grab it while I'm up here. A couple of stacks is fine. Okay, so let's head down to the bottom of the base, and along with the work that I've been doing up at the top, with all like, the circles and everything, planning for the future with like different areas of the base, I've also done some work down here, where it's really, really noisy and loud. Let's just turn this down for a second so we don't have to listen to it. Awesome. So around here, I've started changing this up a little bit. So in the last episode, we just had some stone slabs down. It looked okay. But I've been trying to organize it a bit. I'm still keeping the grass down here because it's farms and I think grass makes sense. And to keep the grass going to the sheep farm, I've just put half slabs on top of this. And I think that lets the grass stay grown. Or at least it used to. I don't know if that's changed. Um, but yeah, that's uh, allowing the grass to still go to the sheep farm, keep it growing, and we don't have to have it separated, well, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's have a look over here. So this is where the um, cow farm is going to be. So I've got two feed stations already set up, and I've set up some chests in between episodes so I can send wheat to the feed station. So if we just quickly pop, uh, pop a full stack of wheat in there, I'll put half a stack in there, and I'll put half a stack in here. Or maybe even just 16. Uh, and you'll see that the wheat from this chest will get taken and put into the feed station behind here. It's just using item ducts. If we have a look just behind here. Let's just turn to the back quickly so I can show you this. Uh, so the wheat will head all the way around to these feed stations here. And also to the feed stations over near the sheep and then it'll fill those up. So that means I don't have to go into the farms to feed the animals. And it also means I don't have to hook up my AE system. Because I don't want this automated. Because I don't want the mobs to breed and breed and breed. And then there would be loads of them where I can't even control it. So over here is where the cows are going to be. So I've already got the feed stations down. And what I want to do is have this little tiny pathway where the baby cows are going to come through after they've been bred. So I want to put a machine down here. And that's going to be the chronotyper. So let's quickly set this up. And I'm going to want to stay as the bat, actually. It's going to make things easier. So the chrono type, uh, type, like I've said, I have never, ever, ever used before. So it's going to be kind of interesting to test out. Now, you can set this to move babies or move adults. I'm going to set it to move babies. And what it should do is that when the cows get bred, it should chuck the um, baby out the back and into this area over here where he's going to get killed. And it'll still leave two adult cows in there. So hopefully that kind of works. 
So I'm going to set up a couple of conveyor belts and just bring it over here for now. I'm not going to set up any conveyor belts in there just yet. And uh, we will just see if there's any wheat in there. Yep, there's wheat in there. Okay, let's place these two cows down and see if they start breeding. And I want to see if the baby gets pulled out the back of here. Or at least it should do. That cow should get bred in a second. So I'm crossed fingers on this, hoping that it works. Okay, they look like they're getting it on. And then the baby cow should get took out the back in a second or two once this timer counts down. There we go. And that is working a lot better than I thought. I thought it would take a little while to get this set up. So I don't want all the cows getting took into here yet. So I think this machine, uh, I'm... <laughs> How should I do this? Well, I think the best way for me to go is to make a quick cut in the video here. I'll get it up to about nine or ten cows in here and then we can set up the grinder setup and uh, hopefully things should be good from then on in and i'm back and i've just finished breeding up a bunch of these cows basically what i did was i left this system running for a little while just how we had it set up before i cut the video and i waited for the baby cows to head through here and as soon as they was grown up i picked them up with this reusable safari net that i went and made it's just four ender pearls around a gas tier and what you can do is you can right click on a mob like the uh, non-reusable ones and then bring the mob over to where you want it, place it down. This is reusable so it's super cool. It works very well for what we want it to do. And over here I've got the cows running through the feed stations just as we had before. I'm not sure how many cows there are there. There's about 10, maybe 11 of them. I'm not sure. I wasn't counting but yeah that is pretty much this ready to go. Now the next thing what I need to do is set up the cow killing mechanism. So the first thing what I want to do for that is I want to cover up all this system that I've got set up over here because I don't want to fall in here and also don't want any other mobs getting in here as well like any of the sheep or anything so I've had a few of these escape so I need to do something about that soon. Um, but now that that's covered up we can start on the cow killing mechanism so what I want to do is we're going to head back up to the surface very very quickly and we're going to grab ourselves an ender chest and what that's going to do is that's going to take all the items that come from the grinder and it's going to bring them into the system so let's go and get one of those made right now and I'm still flying around as the bat it just makes things a little easier while we're building and all that type of stuff so let's grab ourselves a ender chest and what colour is our bag it's red white white so I want a, a bit of red dye uh, which we've got just here. And I'm also going to need a diamond as well because the system's locked with a diamond. So if I grab this, there we go, a diamond. Sweet. So that's the ender chest that we're going to need. Let's just colour it in very, very quickly. There we go, and the diamond. Sweet. And let's just chuck something in there just to see if it works. Awesome. So that's now going into the system. So that's where all of our items are going to go that come from the grinder. And we're also going to want maybe a liquid void pipe. I'm not sure if this produces mob essence. Uh, it's been a long, well I say it's been a long time since I used Mine Factory, it's been long enough for me to forget. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if this still produces mob essence or not. We will see very soon though. So let's just create a little bit of an area where we can work, so that should be fine. Uh, maybe do that. Okay, cool. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to pop the grinder down here. Now the grinder should work in like a 5x5 five five area in front of it. So it should kill off everything which is in this box here. And it shouldn't harm anything else around it. So I'm cross fingers that that works. We shouldn't need any upgrades for it. In fact, we can't put any upgrades in this. So that should start killing everything off. Now for now, I'm not going to put anything behind here. We'll see if anything drops though. And I don't have a chest spare, but that should be okay. So... Let's just give this a second or two to work and while we do that we'll just quickly lay some conveyor belts out just to push all the animals closer to that grinder just to make things a little easier. Now I don't think the grinder will kill baby animals or at least I'm not sure on that. So we may have to just see if it will kill a fully grown up one. So let's grab a safari net. I'm going to grab one of the mobs that are fully grown up and we will see if uh, it works on one of these. Okie dokie. Just quickly pop this back down. And we can see if this system's working. So what should happen is that all the baby cows should head through here. And then as soon as they grow up, they should die. Awesome. Okay, that works really well. Okay, that is actually quite good. Now, we can't put the grinder over here because it will just kill off all the cows. So that's why we have to separate them. But this should work quite well. Now, I need to finish laying all these conveyor belts out. So that's not too bad. That's something I can do off camera. And uh, we also need to set this end chest up as well. So that can go quickly behind here. You can take a look in there. I may have thrown my ender pouch away. We'll have to grab that back in a second. And yeah, we are getting mob essence. So what I can do 
is we can head to the back of this little thing here and we can take this void pipe here. We don't actually need it on this thing that we set up in the last episode because this is only for milk if you're milking cows. So we don't need the void pipe on that so we can borrow this one and we can pop this on here to get rid of the mob essence because I don't really need mob essence or at least I don't need it yet. I'm also going to need a cover. So what I'm going to do is, have, do we have, still have the saw on us? Let's just have a quick look because that might save us some time. Ah, oh, we do. Okay, sweet. So I can grab this saw and we can create a micro block just to go in front of this pipe. Just to make it things a little easier and that needs to be one less. Okay, let's just quickly do that. There we go. And what we can do is we can set this void pipe up to get rid of all the mob essence. This should be working quite well. As soon as these cows grow up, uh, they should be dying off. So that's quite good. And uh, this system should be pretty much ready to go. So like I said, I'm going to get some of the stuff done off camera that we need to do. This needs to go here. And for some reason it isn't wanting to. Why is that not doing it? Let's have a look. That is really odd. It might be because that's there. No. Okay, that's kind of odd. Um, hmm. That's very odd. Oh, it's a facade, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we need a facade. Okay, well, I'm going to go and grab a stone brick facade from up top. I'm going to go and get my ender pouch back as well. Also finish off this with the conveyor belts, and hopefully by then, these cows will have grown up. We can see if this is working, and uh, I'll get to show you this in action. And I'm back, and I wasn't entirely sure what was going on with the facades. It wouldn't let me even place a facade on this fluid pipe, and I thought you could at one point. I'm not sure if it's just because it's fluid pipe, but I've moved that to the underside, and now I've got the um, energy conduit going up the side with the cover on that, and that's working fine. All the mob um, essence is going away. So this is working very well. I just need to finish off with the conveyor belts, which I was just about to do, and I did say I was going to do that off camera. Let's just kill some of these off just to make our lives a little bit easier just for the moment. There we go. Okay, so that is this system fully up and running. We've now got automated cow production and collection of things. And we've now got leather and steak and all that going into the system. And what I may have to do is make a couple of upgrades to our ME system. So I need another ME drive and some discs, which I'm probably going to do off camera or in between episodes because uh, I don't want to do that on camera because I've already done that before. And there is also something else that I want to do to help us out with the ME system as well. So I'm going to look into doing that. There is a couple of things though that I have to do before that, which uh, I'm probably going to do today. So I'm going to have a look into what I want to do next and I will see you in a second because our cow farm is now up and running and there's nothing else I really have to do with it. And I'm back and now that we've got the cow farm done out of the way there's something else that I've been wanting to do for a while now and have uh, kept putting off for yeah quite a while. So I want to get started with some stuff from open blocks to allow us to store our XP because no doubt I've died quite a lot of times throughout the series and have lost quite a lot of XP along that route and if only we were storing it we could have used it for good and not evil even though it wasn't used for evil. So we're going to get started with open blocks now and make a couple of cool things and the main reason I'm starting on it now is because for something that I'm wanting to do with the ME system a little later on in the series I still want to do it quite soon but it's not going to be in today's episode um, I want to get a couple of advanced filing cabinets and for that I'm going to need a bunch of um, enchanted books so this is going to make that system a whole lot easier it means I can store my XP and use it for good and I can also use it for automated purposes as well so uh, this is going to be kind of fun so this here is an XP drain and that uh, here is tanks. Now you just see me make all these so I'm not going to bother explaining it too much and basically what you can do with these is you can drain your XP into the tank with the XP drain so we're going to find somewhere where we can set this up uh, I'm not sure whether we want it around here actually I might want it over near the Thorncraft stuff because it's more this type of stuff now I've been thinking a little bit about the Thorncraft setup in between episodes and I've been thinking about moving it because, to be honest, I'm not going to be doing that much stuff with Thorncraft in today's episode. Well, not in today's episode, but in the series. I'm trying to keep Thorncraft down to a minimum just because I've not really found myself being that... Um, fond of Thorncraft 4, I found it a bit tiresome, but I don't know, I'm, it might come back to me and I might enjoy it a bit more, but I've got a bit bored of it. Um, but I'm thinking of moving this down one floor just to make it a little easier to set these jars up because I want to get rid of all these Essentia tubes, I want to move it over to a golem if we're going to do any more stuff with this. And I think if one floor lower would make that a whole lot easier because I don't have to worry about blocking the glass in and making it look ugly. And this floor here can be focused on Ars Magica maybe, I'm not too sure though, we'll have to think about that. But for now though, I'm going to set my XP stuff up in here because there's still plenty of room. I can put the enchantment table over here, knock some of these bits of um, seared bricks out even and put some bookcases down. So this is going to be a great place. So I think if we put the XP drain uh, just here maybe and what we can do then 
is we can bring one of these tanks down. I need to break that. There we go. I've got a little bit of lag today. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's causing it. My internet's terrible. So I'm just going to quickly do this and pop some of these tanks down just around here. And we can drain our XP into the tanks. Now, these tanks before, if you've never seen them, are really, really, really kind of cool. So we'll pop the XP drain on there. And if we stand on there, it should start draining our XP into the tank below. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so this XP should be turning into liquid XP in the tank below and you can see just down there it's filling that up if we add another tank to this actually it's going to go ahead and evenly distribute and i think if we break this tank here it should go ahead and fill back up in there or it will retain it in here oh that's really kind of cool okay these tanks are awesome they're super cheap as well so they're really kind of cool so that should be a big enough tank for now we don't need it to be too um huge so we can quickly block this in we can fill some xp up in there i may want to decorate it a little bit and get this looking a bit better. So while we're stood here waiting for our XP to drain, let's go ahead and just grab the rest of this. We'll just quickly block this up just to make it look a bit nicer. So at the moment you can see all the sand and everything below here. This is going to eventually be moved, but for now, we don't want it to look ugly. So we're going to drain some of the XP off in here. And then we're going to want to use this XP. So I think the way we do that is we make a... A special type of enchantment table so let's go and have a look what we can do with that I think there's an auto enchanter and an auto anvil so I think they're what you use for this as I say I've not done anything with this before so it's kind of new to me so let's grab some fluid hooks I'll just grab some of these I'll grab some servos as well just so we can power these and let's have a look at enchantment table so what can we do well we've already got a normal enchantment table and there's a couple of ones here and I think it's this auto enchanter it's from open block, so it should be the right one. And then I think there's an anvil as well. So let's have a look what we can do. Uh, it's an auto anvil from auto blocks as well. So let's have a look. Uh, we need to reset this quickly. Anvil. Uh, we need a normal anvil. There we go. I think we've already got plenty of them in there, actually. So we should be able to make this. What are they? They're anvils, can't we? There we go. That was odd. Okay, so there we go. Auto anvil and auto enchantment table. I'm also going to want a bunch of bookcases as well so I should be able to make these very easily let's just quickly do that there we go and we can make ourselves our bookcases dun 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 64 of those perfect so let's go and set this up and we'll test this out and I may also want to grab some books as well so I want to put some enchantments on books so let's just grab like a stack of those sweet so let's go and test this out like I say I've never used this before so it's kind of new to me so we'll see how this works and see what it's like it's kind of nice to try new things out for a change because there's a lot of stuff in the mod pack uh, which I've um, already done before, like I've already used the mine factory machines before and done a lot of stuff with those. So it's kind of nice to try something new out for a change and uh, see what it's like. So let's just take a look at this before we put any more bookcases down. So we can bump it up to level 30, okay. I don't think we need the bookcases there. Uh, what do we need here? Auto extract, okay. Auto eject and auto drink, okay. So that's for the fluids. So we may need the bookcases here. I'm just going to quickly do this for now. And uh, we'll set up like that. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, there's 15 bookcases there, so that should be a level 30. And we can put the auto anvil. Um, let's put it just to the side of it, actually. Put it back there. Okay, so I need to hook this up to some piping. And let's just have a look if open block says anything we can use for this. So, at open uh, blocks. So I think open block says them weird pipes we used earlier on in the series. Or at least I think it was from this mod. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I don't think there is anything we could use for it. I suppose there is something in there we can use for transporting fluid. But I'm just going to use fluid ducts. They work well. And um, at least I know that they work. So I'm going to go down to this tank here. And we'll hook it up. Let's go to the bottom of the tank. Or maybe even the side. That should be fine. Okay. Don't think it has to be in a specific part of the tank. I think it can be anywhere. So hopefully this works. So if I do that, and we need our crescent hammer back, wherever that is. Uh, where is it? Um, that's odd. Crescent hammer. There we go. It's just here. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this, and we'll see if these fluid ducts can take the stuff out of this um, tank. If not, I'm gonna have to look into a different way of doing things. But if I do that, and uh, this should be ignored. There we go. Oh, sweet. Okay, this works. So if we head up to this enchantment table, this should be filling up with juice. And if we set it to level 1, and I put, let's go for half a stack of bookcases in there. Okay, so it's enchanted half a stack of those all at protection 1. Ah, okay, so that is really kind of cool. Now that means that we can just throw a bunch of these in here. 
and get a bunch of books and we can obviously change the level but for now I just want a bunch of level 1 books because for what I'm going to do with the ME system uh, this is going to help out a bunch and we may actually be able to mess around with the ME system today and get it set up the way I want so let's actually go ahead we'll use these books we've got and we'll make ourselves some really really cool items from I think it's bibliocraft I'm not sure they're filing cabinets we've already used them before but there's an advanced version that can store anything and it's going to help us out a bunch with the ME system and tidying it up and removing a bunch of these items which if we take a look in here uh, taking up a ton of space especially the items let's just sort by number of items especially these items where there's just like one of each item it's just going to mean that we can get rid of all these little tiny items and save a bunch of space on the discs which is uh, kind of useful at the moment because we're really low on space so let's go ahead and we'll create a couple of things so we're on item name at the moment I think it's number of items and we'll sort by that much okay cool so I need to get some advanced filing cabinets let's have a look at these so they are just here and what I needed the books for was this magical wood so if we take a look in here we can do this and I'm gonna need some bookcases as well for this so we'll just quickly do that these are efficiency one we don't care about that okay and then we can use the protection one ones up and use all that so this is gonna be really useful awesome so all this can go back in here now now we've got this magical wood we can make the filing cabinet so let's just have a look at how we do that so filing cabinets and they're just these so we need a bunch of these to begin with I'm just gonna grab as many of those as I can and then we'll grab let's go for well we can only make two for now but we'll make some more in the future or do we have any more enchanted books uh, we have a couple of them so let's see if we can make just one more of these so let's have a look filing cabinet there we go we'll grab the recipe for this and then we want the book and we can just get a couple more of these just around the edge oh that's feather falling okay let's just grab two more of these and I'm gonna go ahead and just see how much more we need what was it it was one more two more let's just grab some more of these books so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead quickly grab a couple more of these books from the other place over where the enchantment table is and then we're going to set this up to help us out with the ME system now the way we do that is we're going to use a storage bus and we're going to set the storage bus that only allows certain items in there and those items like I said are going to be the ones that we don't have a lot of the ones that are taking up a bunch of space on the discs so we can go ahead and sort this system out with these filing cabinets use these for the storage and that's just going to help us out a bunch so let's go ahead we'll make the rest of the magical wood get that going and then we should be able to get the system up and running with these filing cabinets and get things working a lot better and I think three should be enough for now we don't have a lot of like these little tiny crazy items that are taking up a bunch of space so let's just see what we can do so we'll do that we'll get one and two and we'll just grab the other filing cabinet that we need so where is it it's just there and there we go awesome and then we just need some storage buses as well so storage bus uh, they're these just here and oh I'm gonna need a bunch of stuff for these aren't I so we need three of those because we only got three of these and we should be able to just quickly craft this up there we go awesome and let's grab some ME cable while we're at it so cable there we go sweet so if we have a look in here and we search by number of items and we can see that it's all these little tiny things that are taking up a bunch of space in the system and are clearing out all of like the slots on the discs so if I get myself all of these music discs and put these in here I can put things like the um, what's it called the rubber saplings and these discs and various things like that and we can sort them out with these filing cabinets so let's head down I'll show you how to quickly set these up and then I'll go about tidying the system up off camera in a second or two so I think the best place for us to have these is uh, out of the way somewhere where we're not gonna get bothered by them so I think in this wall back here should be a perfect place for it so we can do one two three we'll go across actually to keep it looking good and then we can create a wall of these filing cabinets as and when we need more of them especially if we need more space so that's gonna be awesome and then behind these all we need to do is hook them up with the storage buses so this is gonna be kind of awkward because of how this is so hmm how can we do this well what I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna set a bit of this up off camera and then I'll be back to show you how to customize these filing cabinets with all the items 
And I'm back and I've got these filing cabinets set up. I haven't moved all the items from the ME system in here just yet because I want to show you how to set these up. So you just quickly pop these storage buses on the back of these and these will allow it to put items in and out of these um, filing cabinets and use it as if it was an ME drive. And uh, basically what you can do is let's say we put an item into here. So that's two items in there. And if we take a look in here, we can just click that and that's going to allow this storage bus to only put these items into here. So it's going to just mean it's a bit more organized We can keep items where we want them. And all the music discs are in separate ones at the moment. And that's because I don't want anything else going in there just yet until I've started putting items in there. And then all the music discs are going to be in the same one. So these filing cabinets are really kind of cool. And like I said, we're going to use them to store all of the items that are taking up just one space in the ME system. So say if we've only got one of each item, we might as well have it in here. It takes up less space and it means we have more space on the discs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, even though these filing cabinets are pretty cool, you can't put any item in there. For example, we can't put the rubber saplings in there, but we can put the discs in there. So that is one downside of it. I mean, it's not too big of a downside. It's still going to save us some space on the system. And that's mainly what we're looking for uh, until we make more of these ME drives. Because I don't really have the certs quartz to do that yet. So I'm going to go about getting rid of a bunch of these items that are taking up hardly any space whatsoever on the system. I'm going to fill up the filing cabinets with whatever I can. And then once I've done that, I'll be back to show you how much has changed. And just quickly before I do cut the video to do that, uh, I'll just show you what we've got at the moment. So we've got these drives up here. And we're going to need something to stand on just so we can see in there. So let's just do that. And uh, if we take a look in here, we've got all of these just the way they are. I'll show you this afterwards. But most of these are nearly full. Uh, before we start using these, they was all full except for the last one. So there has been a bit of a change already. So like I said, I'm going to go about sorting this system out. And I'll be right back. And I'm back and I've just finished moving a bunch of the items into here. So this one's not got much in there. It's just got a couple of placeholders in there just to make sure no else goes in there that I don't want. Also in here is a bunch of all the items. So this is really what these are useful for. They're useful for tools and armor. Things that take up a bunch of space on an ME system. Especially when you've only got one of each thing. And this would be really useful for let's say if you had a mob farm where you're getting golden swords, golden and leggings, chain leggings, loads of stuff like that. These would be super useful for that because they allow things that wouldn't normally be allowed to stack stack just like the ME system does so they're really kind of cool so the only thing left to do now is to customize these a little bit so I need to set all these to priority 2 which I've already done and I also need to configure this so the items that are in there are allowed to go back in there so you just allow it to do that like that and it adds a filter to it and that basically means that if it gets any more of these items in the system it'll put these in here first because they're in the filter and it's priority 2 so that's awesome those are working. They're set up exactly like how the deep storage units are down below for the farms. So hook that back up to the system now. I disconnected it while I was setting things up just to make things a little easier so I didn't see all the items that were in there in the system. And that is that. Pretty much ready to go. Now those cost very little. You just need a little bit of uh, your XP to do that which wasn't too bad because I do have ways of getting XP quite easily. And um, it saved a bunch of space in the ME system and if we take a look at the difference over here. Now I showed you in the last part of the video a little bit of this and if we take a look at this again and show you that now all these discs have got quite a bit of space on them so it saved us having to make another drive and put a bunch more discs in there and it's meant we've bought ourselves a bit of time on upgrading the AE system so that is really kind of cool so I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode it's probably a lot longer than the usual episodes that I've been releasing that's just because I had quite a bit more time today uh, than usual to record so I thought I might as well make some progress in an episode rather than um keep it down 20 minutes. I mean, when I can record a longer episode, I will do. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, a like would be really awesome. And I will see you all on the next episode. So bye and keep the awesome music.